as you see when you switch the CD player on it comes up no disc obviously so we open it put in uh, a disc and it comes up no disc so let's open it up again try another disc, close it and it just keeps coming up no disc I've tried with various different CDs, exactly the same result every time. It sounds, listening to it, it sounds as if uh, it's not spinning. So, next thing we'll do is we'll open it up and have a look. Right, we've taken the top off. And there's, I've had a quick look at all the connections that I can find and there doesn't seem to be anything loose but what I've done is obviously I've just tried pushing the, connects, the connectors together but there doesn't seem to be any anything loose at all so anyway uh, also the, the actual drive for the disc it does seem to be catching on that back plate a little bit when you turn it so uh, I've tried to blow it clean in case there's anything underneath it so let's put a disc in and let's switch it on and see what happens right as you see it's spinning but it sounds like it's catching let's try a disc in it Aha! We have life. I think it may have just been a piece of crap underneath the drive. Okay. We seem to be working. Hooray! Right. Put it all back together again and see if it works. Still doesn't sound very good though, does it? Okay, we've now got it uh, set up. Uh, let's try switching on and see what happens. It still sounds as if something's catching. So I don't know what that is. Right, we'll try a CD. Right, it's reading it. So at least we know we've got something. Let's just try play.
don't know if you can hear that but it's definitely sounds as if it's catching on something and whatever it is that it was catching on is obviously what was stopping it spinning in the first place and that's why it wasn't wasn't reading the discs so there's still something not quite right I uh, think what I'll do is I'll have to take it apart again and see if I can clean out whatever that obstruction is there's just something there catching Right, we've got the top back off again. Let's switch it on and listen to the thing when it spins. As you hear, it's catching somewhere. But I don't know where. Not an engineer who knows how these things work, so so I can't take the thing apart completely because I I might wreck it. <laughs> Right, uh, I've undone this piece, which now comes off, which actually sits on the top of the disc. Let's switch it on. So that seems to be driving smoothly. Makes me think something in here. Let's say I've had a look around it, and I can't see any obvious place where it's catching. So I have blown, have blown all through it, and hopefully, if there was something sitting in there, it might have dislodged it. Put it back on and see if it makes any difference. Right, that top board is now back on. Uh, as you hear, it's still catching. That seems to be the problem. It's this top board. The rest of it spins fine. So this top board is—it's uh, obviously what's what's going wrong.